Hello my friends! Today I'm going to do a video for the first time that I think I'm going to be doing every month for now, um, for a while. I am going to be doing the pens that I inked up for the month of February. So these are pens that I inked up and I used and I wrote dry. And um, so I keep a log of the pens that I ink up and what ink I ink them with for the entire month. I do been doing this since uh, November of 2020 and it helps me see that I'm actually using my pens and my inks and it's also just a fun way for me to log, you know, my stuff. So as you can see, I have quite a few things here and so I'm going to show you what I inked up this month. and. Um, most of these pens are dry now because I already washed them, but I thought it might be fun to show you what I wrote with this month. So the first one was my Lamy Safari, and I used uh, one of my favorite inks, which is Sailor Gentile Tokiwamatsu. And I just want to preface this by saying this will be a pretty short video, so if you're expecting like a long 20-minute video, that may not be the case this time. So, yay! So the first was my my Lamy, and this is in the Savannah. I'll put that right there. Second, I eked up my Moonman C1 with KWZ Dis Discovery Green, which uh, has been a theme this month. Thirdly, I inked up my Wingsong Wing 3003, and I inked this up with my newest ink, which is Ferris Wool Press Lady Rose, and it was really pretty. Um, some of these pens um, I sold, so I won't have them to show you. But the next pen I inked up is the green one of this one, which I actually ended up selling. I know you're saying, Claire, oh my gosh, you sold a green pen. I know, I know. But the person who I sold it to really, really wanted it. She didn't want to buy the entire five pack of pens just for the green. So I kind of like, oh, okay. So I used the pink one and then the green one and then I sold the green one. So the next one was the Caveco Macchiato Skyline Sport and I had Diamine Oxblood in here. It's been a long time since I used Oxblood and I really liked it. Then I had my Hongdian 1841 in black and gold which I really really love. Um, I don't have a lot of really expensive pens, but there are some pens that I have that even if they're really inexpensive, I consider them like really good, my like my good pens, and this is one of them. So I used a uh, Prussian blue in this pen, and I, and if I'm showing you the pens that are all washed out, it's because they're dry, because I, I wrote them dry, and then washed them out. Some of these I did use more than once, and I'll let you know when I get there. And this one was my gift from, wait a minute, am I? Oh, nope, that's not it yet. So there's a pen that you can't see right here right now because I sold it. It is my Twisby Transparent Green pen with a fine nib. I inked, I had um, Ventus Ink uh, Harlequin Vaudeville in that pen. And um, I wrote that dry and I actually sold that with the same pen the same green pen um, to the same lady. She was really nice and just like just starting her fountain pen collection and she was really kind to me and so I just thought I would do her a kindness as well. So the next pen was the Pilot Kukuno Clear and Extra Fine that was a gift to me from Heather Mattern which I filled up with Murasaki Shikibu and wrote this baby dry. And I really, really, really enjoyed this pen. The next pen, I'm only showing you the cap right now because it's, I washed it just maybe 30 minutes ago and it's drying. So it is my Caveco Brass Sport in a medium nib. And I had Diamond Ancient Copper in it, which is actually something that I pretty much always have in my Brass Caveco Sport, Diamond Ancient Copper. Next pin is my another Wing Sung 3003 in the blue, and I had a Diamine Oxford Blue in here. 
This is actually also my um, Base State Blue pen. The first time I used Base State Blue in it, I love, love, loved it in this pen so much. And of course, it did um, dye the feed and the nib, but it really didn't bother the um, the converter too much. Um, yeah, I love this. These pens, these Wingsong 3003s, are actually for fifteen dollars you get five pens, and they are ridiculously smooth writers. I was super shocked. So if you're looking for some fun pens to try for not a lot of money, go on Amazon and get you a pack of these, like fifteen ninety nine for for five pens, and these are darn good writers. So yeah, go do that. Oh well. I use Diamine Oxford Blue in this one. And you'll see that I bring back some pens too because I used them more than once. So the next one I used was my Jin Hao Centennial 100 in green marble and I had KWZ Discovery Green in it. Um, I wrote it dry and actually refilled it on the 22nd. So I'm still, this is still um, inked up because I'm still using it right now. Um, Discovery Green is probably, I don't know, I'd say one of my favorites, but it's probably my favorite ink. Yeah, so that one, and I'll bring it back out to show you when I get there again. So that was there. And then the next pen I used was my Lee Bamboo. This was a gift to me from a very special person, so I call it my Lee Bamboo, and I used Kentucky Bluegrass in this. So I wrote the cartridge completely dry, and then just, I mean, and I actually absolutely hated the ink. So I got rid of the ink, but of course, kept my wonderful pen. Next pen, Hongdian 1843 Navigator and Gray Ripple. This actually, I used Diamine Earl Gray in it, and this actually is a pen that I am selling. It is already sold. It will be um, mailed to its new owner tomorrow. And the next pen I used was the Hongdian Forest and Rainbow by Nib, and I used Krishna Winter, which was a sample. This pen is just so beautiful. A $20 unicorn of a pen. It actually makes me think of like the Akami in um, Fantastic Beasts uh, in, in the second one when no, in the first one, um, the Alchemy Dragon, even though it's not all 100% blue, I just, I don't know why it's like the, the scales, they get me. But this is a really great pen and a really smooth writer too and not going anywhere. Next pen I used was, I used Earl Grey again and I used it in my Wingsung 3003 in the smoke color and I like Earl Grey much better in this color with this fine nib than I do in my Navigator, which is, that's why I sold my Navigator. Next page. The next one was my Twisby Eco in Jade Fine, and I used Diamine Safari, and it's still got some condensation in there. Next one was another one I've already used again, which was my Blue Wingsong 3003. I used it with Pilot Orochizuku Konpeki. And I will put that to the back of the line again. Then I... I'm grabbing it again. Then I re-inked up my Jin Hao Centennial 100 with KWZ Discovery Green again because I just really enjoy this nib and this pen altogether. Uh, KWZ Discovery Green and this pen writing with it are just... A, what, just one of my go-to combinations. I really, really love it. And this is also one of my pens that I consider my special pens, my fancy pen. And the next one was my Moonman Q1 Fat Boy, and I used Shinryoku. And this pen is also a pen that I am mailing off tomorrow. Person purchased both of these together. And so, because I never reached for it, even though I really, really like this pen, it's just not a pen that I reach for and I'm trying to go from having excess, which for me excess is more pens than I can use in a month. 
um, and you know more pens than I can use once per month because I write with my pens and I write with all of them and I usually cycle through my pens every month and when I have more than I can cycle through with maybe refilling one or two then it makes me very anxious and I feel like I have too many so and plus this one doesn't fit in my um I actually am considering very soon buying an actual pen uh, case, a fountain pen case to keep my pens in while we move and it won't fit in there. So it's going to have to go to a new home. And I know that the lady who bought it for me will really enjoy it. My next one is um, my Twisby Eco in white with a fine nib. I inked this up twice too. First it was inked up with a sample of writer's blood and I wrote that dry and so I'm going to put yeah, this is writer's blood. And then I'll grab it again here in just a second. <laughs> the next pen I inked up was another one of my special pens, which is my Wingsun 699 in a fine nib. And I know this is a clone of the Pilot Custom 823, but I need people to understand that I am not a person who will probably ever buy a Pilot Custom 823. That Paying that much money for a pen to me is insane. I cannot, this pen writes so well, so smooth, and it just feels so good. And I consider this one of my fancy special pens too, even though it was $30. And I cannot imagine a Pilot Custom A23 possibly feeling better than this pen feels and I'm sure some people out there would be like oh well it's because you've never written with a gold nib yes I have um I have written with a gold nib I had a vintage uh vintage Schaefer lifetime something or other that I purchased I paid four dollars for it shined it up and fixed it up and it was great good as new and it had a very soft gold nib but I found that because it was a vintage pen and I, I didn't reach for it enough because I was just too afraid to break it. So anyway, yes, I have written with gold nibs and they're really and truly not something I'm dying to write with more. I mean, I like my pens that I have. So if, you know, somewhere down the line, someone sends me a Pilot Custom 823, oh yeah, I'll gladly accept it. But I'm still going to be writing with my Wingsung 699 too. So that's just that. <laughs> and I had this also inked up uh, with another sample. It was um, Organic Studios uh, Walden, Henry David Thoreau. And I wrote this dry and really, really, really loved it. And fun fact, when you write with Walden and you let it dry and it has that really red sheen, it literally looks exactly the same as Diamine Rider's Blood. Yeah, you can't see the sheen right here. But now when I lift it up, you can see that sheen and it looks, do you see that? Okay, maybe it doesn't look just like it, but it's just as red and just as beautiful as Rider's Blood. But I didn't love Rider's Blood as much as I thought I would. I think I actually prefer Ox Blood. So anyway, yeah, oh, sorry, rambling. Um, Wingsung 699 Henry David Thoreau Walden. The next pen I inked up was again my Twisby White Eco and I inked it up with Sailor Gentil Tokiwamatsu and it's still full. I'm still writing with it. The next pen I inked up I actually wrote this one down here because I actually forgot to write this down, which is really weird for me. But the next one I inked up was my, and it's still wet because I just washed it out, was my Twisby Vac 700R in Iris. And I used uh, Robert Oster Barossa Gilt, which was a sample. And even though it's very pretty in the bottle and, you know, people swatches, it really doesn't write that way. It's very, very light, and it was just too light for my for my liking. So I probably, I'm glad I just bought the sample and didn't buy the whole bottle because that would have been a waste. So that was that one. 
right after the Twisby Eco. The next pen I inked up, which is still inked, is my One Kai Mini Green Swirl, and it is inked with Yamabudo, and I'm still using that. And the last pen I inked up right here is my Caveco AL Sport and Paladin Evergreen, and it is inked up with Noodler's Rome Burning, which has become one of my favorite inks too, and I'm so sad because my sample literally, I was swatching samples today, and I didn't even want to dip the Q-tip in because I didn't want to take away. I don't I don't have enough for a full fill on a cartridge anymore. It'll be like half of a fill, so that makes me very sad. So I was going to try not to buy any new inks for the month of... I haven't bought any new inks for the month of February or January for that matter. Um, I was going to try and avoid buying any new inks for the month of March, but I may have to break down and buy Noodler's Rome Burning because um, I really, really, really like it. So I'm going to move my pens over here for you. <laughs> I always like watching other people's videos where they show the pens that they are, are inking up for the month and they show like eight, eight or 10 pens. I'm like, man, they must be, they must not write as much as I do. But then again, I feel bad like saying, you know, that, you know, other people aren't writing as much. They obviously don't have the same issues that I have. Um, so remember that three of these pens that I did ink up for this month are now sold. And I did ink up two of these pens twice. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so that's twenty pens and um well one two two of them i already sold so that's twenty i said twenty pens so that's twenty two pens and two of them i inked up again so that's Jin Hao and my white eco and it might even more be more fun to show you the pens I didn't ink up this month. This is it. This is what didn't make the cut this month. My Retro 51 in Northern Lights. This is a pen, my um, Koa Wood kit pen that I bought a while back. I'm actually going to be selling this on Mercari too because I just don't reach for it. Um, I'm obviously not going to get back what I paid for it even remotely. Um way overpaid for this but I was new to fountain pens and didn't know any better so this is going to go on Mercari because I also have bad feelings about that. <laughs> so my yellow pen, my yellow smoke which is also super super smooth, my black forest and my olive Caveco Sport and my clear Moonman One Kai Mini. So these are the pens I didn't use this month. All right, if you stayed with me that long, you deserve a cookie. You should go get yourself one. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And tune in next month. At the end of the month, I will also show you again when I start my ah, when I start my page again. I pulled it out my March. I'll keep track of the pens that I use and the inks. And then at the end of the month, I will show you what I inked for that month. So I hope you like this video. If you uh, enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And um, if you would like to support my channel in any way, then I would encourage you to visit my Ko-Fi link that you can find in the description and you can leave me a little tip in the tip jar. Thank you guys so much for watching and I wish you awesomeness.